I just showered. My hair's drying up. My lashes, I got them done a couple of days ago. My eyebrows, my mustache, my waxing, because you, you have to be hairless. Let me tell you that. The doctor tells you hairless. So I did all that. This week, I already packed in everything. I will show you guys what I took with me. I am not staying in um, recovery for like a whole week or anything. As soon as the doctor tells me you're free to go home, I am coming home. I will go for my following appointment to check up how everything's going and what's not. So... As some of you guys might not know this, but I am getting a BB out. I am getting the Lipo 360 BB out, J Plas <laughs> tongue twister right there. J Plasma and High Definition, which is HD as well. And today, March 14, which is the day of my surgery. My surgery is assigned at 6.30. They actually let me know the timing of my surgery a day before, which is March 13. I am the first one who is gonna get surgery from like all the ladies that the doctor is doing. So I am kind of nervous now. At first, I was so excited. I'm still super excited because I've been waiting for this day. You guys have no idea. But when I received the message saying I was the first one and I was supposed to go in at 6.30 because I am the first one, I wanted to throw up. I was like, holy shit, this is happening. Like, I'm getting surgery. I've been waiting for this day and it's literally like hours away. Like, I'm so shook. I'm so happy. I'm so excited because... I love the doctor's work. I'm hoping I'm getting the results. I am looking forward. I've been open with you guys with anything I get done with myself, from eyelashes to my lips, anything. BBL, like, I am open to you guys. I'm so for surgery. If you guys want to fix your hair, your lips, your nose, your lashes, your cheekbones, your jawline, do it. If it's going to boost your confidence and you're paying for it, I will be showing you guys how my body looks right now. I'm wearing some biker shorts and just a Walmart t-shirt because I'm going to sleep and get like two hours of sleep because we have to wake up and we'll hit the road. This is where I'm gonna be showing you guys my process of how I'm looking and everything. So this is how I look as of right now. Literally, I have a no butt. And then my for my hips, like I do have something, but I'm just not like, I don't know. I don't really like them. So he's going to, you know, touch that up as well. So I am so excited to actually see my results. This is how I look, you guys literally like it's flatter than the wall like are you serious we shall see how i look ah! i'll see you guys in a couple hours we just crossed the checkpoint from san diego and we are on our way to tj so right now we just stopped at a gas station to pump gas we are 10 minutes away from the border to tj and the hospital is like two, three minutes away, five minutes away from the border. So we should get there shortly. It is 6.15 right now. I'm already getting anxious and excited and nervous. And my sister is just... I'm just telling to go. There. I haven't ate or drank anything. I'm so thirsty since 10 p.m. So... arrive right now to me doctor and i literally arrived just on time <sighs> thank you much okay oh thank you bye bye Está ahí en la esquina. No la bajes, ¿para qué la quieres? Porque está mi dinero, machi. Tengo que dar el dinero. Uh, Hago un beso, chicas, y saqué, no me van a operar. Sí, sí. No me van a operar ahorita. Antes de que entres, dinos, ya voy a entrar, porque ahorita okay. te van a preparar. Okay. So right now I just went through blood work again, and then um, they were going through my weight and everything, you know, protocol and they just passed me to my room i am sharing my room with my sister this is our room right here my sister is still on um paying her balance and everything and i'm just gonna have to wait for my surgeon and for them to take me in they're gonna bring me a gown and a pillow right now i'm glad i'm sharing my room with my sister because i know who's next to me and then we have our own restroom and stuff so i'm so excited i'm so i'm starting to get a little bit nervous but i'm excited i'm so ready and I will see you guys in a bit, if not when I'm back from surgery. So 
There's like not good lightning here, you guys. So I think this is gonna work the best. But they just brought me my gown and these um, thighs, socks. I don't know. So I have to get ready, like fully naked, and put this on because the doctor should get here like any minute now for me. And I'm starting to get nervous because it's gonna have to be ready. My sister's right next to me. She's already getting like undressed and stuff. So. Let me undress and put on my gown, you guys. So now I'm just waiting for the doctor. My sister and I got our IVs already. She's right next to me. And this is our IV. I have it right here. It kind of did burn a little because it was like a burning sensation. Why are you but I'm mean, using it. For me, it was. It was like a burning sensation and I did feel it more than her, I guess. I'm more insensitive. But now I'm just waiting for the doctor because I go first. And it's already, what time is it, Erica? It is. 8.39. It's 8.39 yeah. and I've been here since 6.30 exactly. So I'm so excited and nervous now. But the doctor just came and kind of like sharpened our body to see what he needs to do and everything. He also did it to Erica. He just left the room and he said he'll be back like in 20 minutes for me. Erica, what time is it? It is 9.22. It's 9.22 and he said he'll be back in around 20 minutes for me and he should be ready for surgery. And then I'm going to be like in another room for like half an hour and then they're gonna take erica so i probably won't see her when she goes in no because you'll be in recovery for 30 minutes over there yeah and then they're gonna transfer me over here so i think the next time i see you guys it's gonna be when i'm back in my room <laughs> you guys i look all tired and bummed out but i've been out already for like a couple maybe an hour or so it's 3 50 something it's almost four i'm still here i'm in my room I waited on my sister because she should come out like in 30 minutes or so. The lining is not good whatsoever. It's already kind of lay around 6.30ish over here. But my sister arrived. She has like already like half an hour here. Erica. She doesn't, how do you feel? I feel good. She says she doesn't feel pain like I did. She feels just cold. But they already put blankets on her. And me on the other hand, I feel so much pain, you guys. I even cried. The pain was like, oh my god. I was like, hello, like I need more medication. <laughs> it was hurting so bad, you guys. Like I was FaceTiming my mom and I was like, mom, it hurts. Like my hip, my ass. Right now they're doing something about like compressing my, my feet or something. It feels really good actually. And my butt is on my BBL pillow already. Medication that they're giving me feels so much better because the first time I was crying, you guys, like I was even saying, like, what the hell? Why is it so painful? I thought it wasn't going to hurt. But I'm hanging. So we'll see what they feed me. I'm excited for my food. Okay, guys. So I got some veggies, rice, and chicken to eat. This is my food my first meal after like 10 hours to eat i was supposed to like kind of scoot up my body feels so heavy like i was it was so hard for me but the lady told me i need to drink more water so i'm gonna do that too i was so hungry guys so i'll catch you guys up once i'm done like with my food my sister's over there sleep already damn america you're snoring sister if you're watching this your snoring hasn't changed. Mmm. Oh, look. Even it has a little. Okay. I'm going to eat. What about tea? It's Monday, March 15. It's 8.09 in the morning. My sister's right next to me. She's already in set. Um, they did, like, put her faja on. They washed. She showered and everything. For me, it was totally different. I could not get up bed. It was hurting. It was so painful. They had to, like, shower me in bed. I had to pay extra, like, $300 for medication because... It was stronger medication. stronger medication because it was so painful. I couldn't. They even wanted me to stay in recovery for three days. They didn't want me to go home. But I was like, no, the medication has to work because it's, like, stronger. And they didn't even put me in my faja. They had to put bandages over me, Harika. Yeah. Yeah, they had to put bandages all over me. And I feel like it was the faja that was pretty tight on me. That's why. Because me and my sister, they put us the same size. And I'm like, there's no way we're the same size. But I think it was a faja. That's why I was feeling so compressed. And my ribs were hurting, you guys. I even cried. I cried like five times. Harika. 
Yeah, she said that her pain level was a 9 out of 10. <coughs> and uh, mine was like a 6 and a half. Yeah, my sister was able to shower and everything, take off her faja and everything. Oh my God, I was just... When they took out my faja, you know when you wear your waist trainer for too long that your ribs just feel compressed? That's how I felt. Imagine for 24 hours. So right now, I'm not even that hungry because I'm just like, ugh. I just want to go home. They want to get ready some mm. fruit, thin and manzanilla, and a little jello. So right now, we just got some blood taken out of us, me and my sister. And we're just waiting for them to remove our urine pipe thingy so we could go home my mom's already here in tj she's probably eating and she already um told us our medication and everything our fajas they did they did end up changing my faja to a large because a medium i was like there's no way i'm a medium like my sister's a medium too and i felt my ribs like so compressed like i felt like oh i think that's what that's why i feel like this because i was in that faja for way too long the doctor came in and he put this inside of me literally with a needle like he went in and then it's this one i have to have it for 48 hours and then i could remove it i have to do it or my mom or my aunt and if i feel nauseous or throwing up i could just close it for two hours and then reopen it again but this is just something similar to mor morphina because oh you guys my pain this is totally making me feel better i can move more now because i was not look i can move i was not able to move whatsoever but I'm so glad. So that. my sister already left, and I'm by myself now. The only reason I haven't left is because my um, pee is too concentrated, and they put um they kept this is like my second bag of IV. Hopefully after this one, I'm able to leave as well. I don't feel pain anymore because of my the medications they've been giving me. I just feel so tired, like so tired, and like if I eat or drink anything, I'm like I'm gonna throw up. We're already in the car right now, me and my sister. We're about to cross home already. Oh, I feel so tired. I'm um, not much of pain because I already turned my pain thingy on. So, I look kind of messy, kind of rough, but we got home a couple, like three hours ago, Harika. We got home like three hours ago, and I'm trying to walk it out because I've been in bed for like over 24 hours. And I haven't had a walk, so my sister's cooking some sopita right now for us because I'm so hungry. Here she comes. So it's gonna go more in the oh, back in the of the arm. So oh. yeah, just put your just relax your arm. Don't try and flex or anything. Okay. Oh, can't get something out of my head. Just relax. No, no, put your oh. arm down. Just relax. Sure. And do a little ant bite. Uh, one, two. So many lives here. I know. Oh, don't make me Only 20% of them are even See, that wasn't too bad. Oh. Okay, guys, this is, I believe, day three since surgery. With surgery. Um, and this is how it looks right now. It's super swollen. And don't be scared. I see some booty, yes. Hold on. I just have my little pipes right here. I can't sit straight straight so you guys can get an idea of how it kind of looks. But this is how we're looking so far. Of course, I'm super swollen. I don't have my faja. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I'm just bandaged all over my body because they couldn't put the faja on me. I was so... I was crying, you guys. It hurt a lot. But right now, it's a little better. I'm walking, I have to walk, the doctor said I have to walk and drink water. Okay, instant. you can't even see anything. Whatever. But, I will keep you guys updated on how we look and everything. And if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, you guys have been updated. But, this is how we are looking. I feel so much better. Like, I could touch myself like this. I feel like the little curves and everything. I'm so excited to see my results. Mom just brought us this good homemade meal. Some chicken with vegetables, rice, asparagus. Bon appetit. Huh? You guys, this meal is so bomb. Oh, the flavor. I was already hungry. But this is like our meal meal, so I'm going to eat it slow. The asparagus. Mm. Bomb.
The chicken has such good flavor. And this is still day three. And I'm gonna enjoy my meal because I'm hungry. So it's day four and they are going to remove this off me already. I'm so scared because I just remember how it hurt to put it inside. Now I could only imagine how much it's gonna hurt to take it out. But it's time because it's already past the days. And I, I could still go for a few more hours, but I just want to get out already. I'm so ready for this to come out. My sister's right here. And my mom. Hi, I'm this On my arm. So it has officially been removed. I'm so happy because I literally have like nothing here. It's nothing bulky. It's just like my boobies and this little patch. And it feels so much better because I had it like in between like my um boobs and then well inside my skin which is like just so like annoying and my sister is trying to get up now because she takes forever to get up i've been getting up a little bit more than her and i feel a little better i already drank my pills and i can't wait to put my faja on because i haven't been i only wore the faja once i just blah, blah, blah. i haven't worn my faja since they put it on me but they took it off because like I was, it was, uh, I can't even explain it. I'm gonna do like a separate video on like my experience, experience on my BBL because it was totally different between me and my sister. But I feel so much better and I can't wait to have my first stage faja on. And I feel so jello because I feel like gelatina, literally. But my arms kind of hurt, they're sore. So I'll keep you guys updated. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna have a first. Let, the, I think tomorrow is going to be our first like lymphatic massage, if I believe that's what it's called. And I'm not looking forward for that, but you got to do what you got to do because I want to be ready and up and about and walking around because look at my sister. Just like you see her right there, she's already like 15 minutes trying to get up. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Oh, but she wanted a body, you know? Damn, sister, your ass is big. Day five, and this is how we're looking so far. I know I have steam right here. I'm going to change my faja. But this is how it's looking. I love, love, love my hips, my butt as well. Of course, my butt is swollen. They did say, don't fall in love with your butt. Everybody says that when you come out. So I'm in love with my hips, though, and my ass as well. So I can't wait to see my finery. So I haven't really done an update, but this is day six, I believe. And this is how I'm looking. I managed to put on my faja by myself already. I already went for my first massage. It hurt a little bit. I will explain a further notice as well. This is how I'm looking. I am swollen. I have my little drinks right here because my um little robe I was wearing, it was dirty. So I need to wash it. But my things are right here. I have my board. I've managed to put my board and my little backboard as well. But this is how we are looking. I am swollen, swollen, swollen. But I i'm loving the result i didn't go for a big big butt but i didn't want curves like one of my focuses was like my curves right here and oh i'm loving it i am swollen keep that in mind so i'm not mad at it whatsoever i am super swollen still but i am loving loving it so far today is march 26th it's about two weeks now and this is how i am looking i'm still kind of swollen but my faja is already you know like kind of fitting me Big. I need to get a smaller size or make it go smaller because I'm on my third one already and it still fits big. I'm gonna start putting my side foams on because my faja is literally like folding on me already, which means that it's spinning big. I'm gonna have to get another size. This is a large and I'm gonna be changing to a medium pretty soon because I, or maybe just adjusting this one because in a couple weeks I'm gonna use a th stage two faja. So, update, this is um, week four of my surgery. This is how I am looking. Let me give you guys a little back look. I am on my second faja now, my second stage faja. I just put it on today. You're supposed to wait like a month and then put it on, but this is how the back looks of my faja. And this is how we are looking. Don't mind my little Ollie. He's probably napping on the floor. It's really cold. So this is how we are looking. This faja is meant to like shape your body and snatch you even more, which, oh. And I like this faja because it has like the zipper that goes from here to your butt crack. So 
and I could feel the difference between this Baja and the first stage. Like this is snatching me, you guys. Like there's no stretch whatsoever on this Baja. So let's hope this actually snatches me more. I am on week four now, a little update. I know it's been a while, but this is how we're looking. I am on my second stage Faja. I know this shirt, like, it's baggy or whatever, but this is how we are looking on my fourth week of surgery. I am loving my results so far. And this Faja is so convenient because it has a little zipper right here, so it's easier to go to the restroom.